actually got like catfished really hard one time. Um, by, by a fan? Yes, by a fan. Yes. How yes. did that happen? Okay, it was so, it was so crazy to this day. I'm like, what is wrong with me? But I was lonely too. Like mm-hmm. when I first started the webcaming, I was I was lonely as well. I was feeling like I wasn't really doing much in my life and I was kind of in a down not a downward spiral, but in a downtick in my life. I'd just gotten my second DUI. I had really no way to work. And I was still working during the day, but I was like driving illegally. I was like really messed up about that. I felt so horrible. And um, so I moved down to LA for maybe like six months or so to live in this webcam house. Cause I was just like, I'm not doing anything up here. Where were you living before? I was living in Galt or in Sacramento. Okay. <laughs> that, in that area in NorCal. And um, I just wasn't progressing. I was sleeping on a friend's couch and I was like, let me just go down to LA and move into this webcam house. It seems so scary because again, this was before. Now you hear of a webcam house or a webcam warehouse where girls go and they work and there might be 10 different girls in there and 10 different setups. That's that's pretty common. I know not everybody knows about that, but that's pretty common mm-hmm. to where you would have a specific workplace set up for your webcaming. It's like and, we work for webcaming. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Yeah, yeah. You go in there you, or even like, you know, like a dancers, but then you have all your separate rooms. You know, everyone, you know, the door person and, and it's a community. It's like a family. And this was in the beginning of that and I'm like oh my god I'm gonna go down to LA with these really people that I don't really know that well I know them I know I'm gonna be safe but I'm gonna be away from my friends away from my family and I just was like I don't really have anything to lose let me go down there and let me do it so I went down there and it was me and two other girls in a big house and I was happy doing what I was doing But I was lonely. I felt like I didn't have any real connections. Everybody was very sweet and I was being well taken care of, but I didn't have any real connections. And I was on this webcam. We used to work at like eight, nine, 10 hours a day. Sometimes I would leave the webcam on when I slept, Mm -hmm. which is a fetish. That's Mm -hmm. a fetish. So people would even tip me. I would wake up and I'd have a few hundred dollars. People just like watching you sleep. Yes. I know it sounds crazy, but that's a real thing. There's yep. not a lot of people that are into that, but you're out there. God bless <laughs> you. I love it. Um, so we were on there for so long. And this was so new, too. And so it was just like the more you work, the more money you could make. And I didn't really have anything else going on at the time. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to work a lot. So I was on there all the time. And there was one guy on there in particular. Um, I think I've said his name before. It, it, this is so funny that I even like remember his name, but it was like JC Poo Poo Head or JC Poo Poo Face or something. <laughs> the weirdest name. What was he, 10? Like, I don't know. <laughs> and he knew all the other girls in the house. He was, that's how often he was on. Okay. Yeah. And it's so bad. It's so bad. But, anyways, I made a connection with JC Poo Poo Face. <laughs> And please say his name often because it's <laughs> I know I couldn't I like couldn't everyone would call him JC, of course, you know, but it's like JC Poo Poo Face is back in on the you know, he's asking for you. When are you going to be done with your you know, I'd be having a private show. I'm like, oh, and this was before cell phones uh-huh. like we had we had. Well, it wasn't that far, but we'd have cell phones, but it was still to the point where you weren't on Facebook. You weren't um, they weren't like smartphones. They weren't smartphones. Yeah, they were like razors. Exactly. It was a razor. You yeah. were getting charged per text yeah so it's not like we are now you know we holly and i both have our phones within like an arm's reach and that wouldn't that's not deemed unprofessional but Mm -hmm. to have your phone sitting next to you or even within eye range was super unprofessional and Mm -hmm. so we knew like okay just put the phone away and so we would have the messaging system on the computer where we could see uh, the other girls could say jc is in here he's wondering when you're when your show is done and I could be doing the show and still kind of answer really quick. Oh, I'll be done in 10. So he gave me a little bit of money at first, but it was mostly just creating these um, friendships with the girls. He wasn't ever asking for anything. He wasn't mean. He was always complimentary. He would sit there all day on the computer with us and he would talk to each and every one of us and just was always very friendly. Um, I think we all got a little bit of money from him, but not really that much. And it seemed to be that he was somebody who just had a lot of free time. So he somehow convinced me that he was like this traveling uh, baseball player. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if he told me that he was in like another country or whatever. He was traveling and he was lonely too. So he sent me, you know, these photos of I don't even know who this man was. Clearly it wasn't him. And uh, this man was like a good looking guy, you know, brown hair, brown eyes. And he's like always like in his uniform or about to swing the bat or something. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Me, this is so cool that this guy wants to talk to me. Not really realizing at that point, I'm like, I'm like pretty hot and fun. Like, why wouldn't somebody want to talk to me? But I'm still like. Also, this guy's last name is Poo Poo Face. Exa- exactly. Yeah. Which is not like, I mean, I don't, I, I think I might have asked him like, what, you know, how did you get this name? And he's like, oh, it was a nickname my mom gave me or something. I'm like, okay, whatever. And so. I mean, that's st- you know, know, my husband calls my daughter Poopy Pants. So. Yeah. That's what but I. She's also two. <laughs> yeah. Listen, these are all things, ladies and gents, if you're doing the webcamming, these are questions you should be asking. <laughs> if someone's about. last name is Poopy Face, yeah, you might want to exactly. reconsider your relationship You might want to reevaluate what is happening with this person and not give them too much of your spare time. <laughs> so lo and behold, I am like, we continue the friendship and we talk, we start talking off of the website. I'm thinking I'm talking to this, um, you know, young, hot, lonely guy. And I start sending him money to get a webcam because he's like, yeah, my webcam broke my you know, this was before webcams are like webcams are everywhere right now. You buy a computer. If it didn't have a webcam, yeah. we would be like, what kind of archaic piece of crap is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they all have. It's it's yes. it's written in built in. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And so um, this was still at that time, too. And they were pretty expensive. So I sent him like one hundred dollars to get one from Walmart. And it was like, you know, excuse after excuse. I sent him $100 a couple more times. And finally, I was like, look, I'm not going to talk to you anymore if, like, we can't get on a webcam. This is starting to get really weird. So he and we would talk very late into the night. I'd be up late with him. I'd be up early. He'd be the first one that I'd, like, log in. He'd be the first one that was there. So we were very much, like, leaning on one another. I would tell him, like, I'm I'm sad, you know, I just, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. And But is he paying to talk to you? Is no. it a permanent? Okay, no. so this is, because I know that now um, a lot of times it's it's not a pay per minute situation. It's like a tip situation mm-hmm. or they get like extra, they mm-hmm. pay extra for a show. Or I know on right? OnlyFans, yeah, you're not necessarily charging for per minute. I think right. on some of the web, web uh, webcam sites, you, you still are being charged for a minute. And then if you need something extra, you're expected okay. to tip extra. Yeah, but we would, this was Skype. We oh, like switched over to Skype because okay. we were that good of friends. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And so finally I was just like, this is not cool. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to be friends. How come you can't show me your face? So finally one day he got turned on the webcam and um, I'll never forget. It was um, an older man who wasn't very fit. He was a little bit um, looked out of shape, a little larger. And it was black and green. Like the webcam was black and green. And there was pcs like all around like this and there was like a you know like a like a big gulp or something right here next to all the pcs and it was like in black and green so he was surrounded by computers surrounded by computers it looked like a basement and was somebody that was not obviously not that it was not a professional baseball player. It wasn't the Jesse <laughs> Poopoo face. Yeah, that you it wasn't the Jesse Poopoo face. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought, you know. What did he say? He he just like kind of looked at me and I was just like. Looked at him and I think I was so distraught because at that point I was like, obviously, I'd been lied to. I stayed online with him. I stayed online for like another 10 minutes and I was just like, well. I guess this is why you didn't. Well, Mr. Poopy Face. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. do you have to say for yourself? Exactly. It, because I was so shocked. But Holly, here's the thing. I stayed talking to him. I like was, we weren't like boyfriend and girlfriend, but I, that connection. Yeah. I didn't want to give that connection up. Yeah. And we were so connected um, that. I did stay talking to him for a while, but I was like, I sent you money. Like I've told you like the innermost workings of like, you know, my good days, my bad days. And you were lying to me. And so I was really hurt, but I stayed talking to him for like probably another year. I stayed talking to him and then finally, but it wasn't the same. So finally one day I think he got mad. I, I didn't answer something of his or he felt like he was being neglected. And I was just like, listen, I still talk to you after everything. You lied to me. 
and you know like we're still friends and I want to be your friend but like it's not going to be the same Mm -hmm. you know and so that was really tough I got catfished so I'll never